Hi there, in this video we will going to see few useful tricks in SAP DME. DME stands for Data Medium Exchange. To watch this video, you should know the basics of DME. Now if you don't know, then stay tuned with this video. At the end of video, we will share you an ebook which will help you to learn the DME. So let's move on to the first trick which we are going to see. Now DME is a functionality provided by SAP through which we can generate the files from SAP in such a manner so that the target systems can understand it. One of the popular use of DME files is to generate payment files for the bank. Now many banks use the same structural formats which has been pro already provided by SAP. So in those cases we don't have to create our own tree structure but instead of that just download the SAP's provided structure and upload it our SAP system and then make changes according to the requirement. So let's see how we can upload a tree structure into SAP. So this is DME tree structure I have with me. So I will just open it and we will do a short trick over here. We will change the name of this DME tree. So the existing tree if if in case there is an existing tree already present with the same name then the existing tree will get replaced with this one. So avoid, with, avoid that we will change the name of this tree structure. So to, to do that find the name into this file here you can see the name will always be co covered with prefix and suffix of the name so we will just change this name to a test save it now let's go to the sap and import this file so over here execute the transaction dme click on the format tree and upload xml file similarly if you want to download you can go over here okay so select location p if you want to upload it through the ex existing system path so just select the path click on open and then click on copy click allow and here we can see the xml file it's get get generated and the name of the format tree is test as we changed it into the notepad now you can make whatever changes you want to into these nodes or the structure so this is how you can upload a dme tree structure from different systems or from sap nodes itself now let's see the second scenario in which we'll see how to prevent from a single DME file getting generated multiple times. Many times when users take out the payment run, they have the option to create a generated file, DME file at the time of payment proposal and similarly at the time of payment runs. So if both the time user ticked the option yes, then two DME files is going to get generated. And if in the background auto integration setup has been done, then there might be chances of double payment. So to stop that, we have an option to remove that tick at the time of payment proposal. So payment file will only be getting generated at the time of actual payment run, not at the time of payment proposal run. So there is one trick we can do is to remove the authorization activity object for these two objects remove the activity for these two objects so that whatever user is performing that payment run will not have the option to tick payment generate dme file at the time of payment proposal it will only visible at the time of generating payment run let's see it quickly in sap okay so we'll go to the automatic payment run decode and right here we are taking the proposal run and you can see 
while generating the proposal we do not have the option over here of generating the payment file just because for this user id i have disabled those activities for those objects hope you will find these tricks helpful and if you want to know more about dmes and more tips and tricks that you can use in your day-to-day -day life then we will suggest you to go into the description box and click on the links of the ebook which we have provided through the from there you can get your copy for of the dme ebook and learn the dme from end to end thank you for watching stay tuned for more of this